Hello everyone. Today is January 8th, 2024. It's a very special day. Why? A year ago, 2023, January 8th, it was the first day of opening up the border between Hong Kong and China. The first phase of opening up, allowing only 60,000 Hong Kong residents to travel to China through seven ports, sea, land, and air. And now I'm standing in Shangshui. This street is called Sun Hong Street. Sun Cheng Street. This street is very famous for dispensary, pharmacy, beauty products for parallel imports into China. So a lot of people from mainland China come here, parallel importers come here, buy from all these dispensary, beauty, and pharmacy stores to bring back to China because here the tax is lower and there are many foreign brands here that's available, that's not available in China. So now it's after one year, a news report today saying that the recovery is not as fast as expected due to many three reasons. First, the border only opened up for just one year. It was February 3rd that was fully open, the border between Hong Kong and China. And on April last year, April last year, the high-speed railway resumed. And then in November last year, that the uh, HAKMA, the HAKMA is like the, the health declaration, very troublesome health declaration that we no longer need to do when we travel between Hong Kong and mainland China. So it's only been one year. I'll say the higher the expectation, the greater the disappointment. Huh? A lot of people expected a V-shaped recovery, but in fact, it's more like a U-shape or maybe a W-shape. Why? Because we recovered sharply in February, March last year, but you know, much because a lot of people expected, saw a lot of stores open up, but then it wasn't really that great, so it came back down again and hopefully recover again. So now standing in Sun Hong Street, three main reasons is, first, a lot of people are already used to the Chinese e-commerce platform. They have been buying their own brands, the national brands in China. So a lot of promotion on Douyin. So a lot of people buying online in China already, they don't need to come to Hong Kong to buy the parallel products, the foreign brands. Second reason is, as you can see here, a lot of people buy here, they need to go through the custom. The custom inspection has been very strict last year, afraid of a lot of parallel goods would be imported into China. So once some people were reported to have confiscated all the products that they brought through the custom, so that deter a lot of people coming to Hong Kong to buy the parallel products to be brought back into mainland China. Third is, you know, now, it's uh, from in, for those residents in Shenzhen and in Greater Bay Area, they can come to Hong Kong with only single visit permit per week. Single visit permit per week. In the past, it's what they call multiple entry for individuals. So once they get the permit, they can have multiple entries. And now they can only come to Hong Kong for those people in Shenzhen and in Greater Bay Area. It's only once per week. For the Hong Kongers to go north in the mainland China, we can go multiple times, 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times per week. But then for those mainlanders to come to Hong Kong from Shenzhen and Greater Bay Area can only be once per week. So it's very unfair. A lot of the spending power being exported into mainland China. And then for them to come to Hong Kong will be difficult. So a lot of now legislative councillors, a lot of them promoting, saying in Shenzhen and Greater Bay Area, they should have multiple entry to Hong Kong in order to stimulate the local economy. So today it's January 8th, 2024. As you can see, the street, it's all right. I was here one year ago. It was more like a dead city. And now a lot of people, footfall, tourists, parallel importers, businesses are thriving again. So it's just gonna take more time. Hopefully next year when I come back again, 2025 will be busier and busier. Congratulations to the tenants, the landlords, and hopefully Hong Kong economy will do better once they open up the border further and more mainland and come to Hong Kong on multiple entry individual scheme. Hong Kong will be better. Remember, when you want to buy or rent a shop in Hong Kong, look for me. I'm Edwin, founder of Bridgeway Prime Shop Fund. Thank you. Bridgeway guarantees shop quality with reliable facilities and accurate tenant information. Looking for prime shops? Contact our team or real estate agents now.